Hey, sis, are you almost done with work? Because me and mom are waiting for you outside. I got about five more minutes. I'll be right there. Excuse me, is he getting a table? Because if not, I've been waiting for 30 seconds already. Oh, sorry, that was just my little brother I was talking to. I don't care, you're at work, and customers come first. Okay, sorry. Oh, and it's my birthday. Happy birthday. So, is there a table ready for me? Um, we can have a table ready for you in five minutes. Five minutes? I don't think you heard me. It's my birthday. I want a table right now. I'm sorry. It'll be ready soon. Ooh, you're terrible at your job. I'm about to ask for the manager. Hey, Karen. That's my sister you're talking to. Hey, little brat. And I don't care. I overheard you say it's your birthday, so I went to the car to grab you a gift. Oh, thank you. What is this? Jumper cables? Yeah, because you always love to start <laughs> No, I'm getting pulled over. God dang it, sis. If you're smart, just let me do all the talking. I don't think so, brother. Not trying to go to prison. Do I always get myself out of trouble? Trust me. Fine. Here he comes. Hello, I pulled you over for speeding. I need to see your license. Hi, officer. She doesn't have a license, officer. I'm gonna kill you. She couldn't pass the test. It was really embarrassing. Okay, how about registration? Um, no, because she stole this car. Are you insane? You gotta be kidding me. You might as well tell him about the dead body in the trunk. What? I'm gonna need backup. Just trust me. Evening, ma'am. I'm gonna need y'all to open the trunk. Okay. My officer said there was a dead body, but there wasn't. What? My sister isn't a murderer. Do you have your license and registration? She does. Right, sis? Yeah, it's right here. I'm confused. My officer told me that you didn't have any of those, and there was a dead body in the trunk. Well, your officer is a liar, liar, pants on fire. What else did he tell you? That she was speeding? Hello, who are you? And what's that? Mommy! Hello, can I help you? Good day, ma'am. My name is Steve, and I'm a college student. I'd like to ask for two minutes of your time today to show you this amazing carpet shampooer. Um, okay. What the heck, dude? What's that smell? Did you seriously just drop dog poop on my carpet? Ma'am, yes I did, because this is how confident I am in this vacuum shampooer. It's gonna pick up every ounce of that, and if it doesn't, I will eat it with my mouth. Now, if you just show me where to plug it in. <laughs> What's so funny? I sure hope you're hungry, mister, because our power is out. <laughs> um, Dad, why is that kid crying? Oh, don't worry, son. It happens all the time. Hey, little guy. Where's your parents? Come on, don't be shy. You can tell me. Where are your parents? <laughs> I don't see them. Do you know where they are? Dad, you can't say that. Why? You work at an orphanage. Oh, great heavens. Emotional damage. Me trying to make plans with my friends in the group chat. The friend with no money. The friend who doesn't have a ride. The friend with strict parents. The friend who doesn't even reply to text messages. Oh, great heavens! Mark! Yes, Mom? Come here. Mom? Come here. <sighs> Mom, did you call me? I said come here! Y'all always act like y'all can't hear me. Oh, great heavens! Ah, uh, I need help! Somebody! Any last words? Did you just drop the soap? Oh, Yo, Dad. What? 
How many numbers are there on a clock? That's so easy. Twelve. Nope, you're wrong. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, a clock goes from one to twelve. I asked you how many numbers does a clock have. Exactly, and there's only twelve. Nope. Well, how many are there? Guess. Just tell me. No, you have to figure it out. Oh, great heavens! I should have used protection. Yo, look, brother. Holy crap, that's a lot, bro. Yeah, I know. Can I give some to your son? Sure, it's up to you. Cool. 30 minutes later. Yo, son, how much money did Uncle Fred give you? What money? He gave me this. Oh, my heavens! This tastes a little weird. Hey, babe, should I wear the pink or the yellow? Um, I think maybe the yellow. Okay, I'll take the pink, but thanks. Oh, my heavens! Oh, bro. What's up? What's the best food you've ever had? Poison. What? Yeah, it tastes so good. Shouldn't you be dead then? I mean, obviously not. Like, why would you eat poison? Because he barked too much. Oh, great heavens! So, like, can I come over? Um, I don't know. Come on, what's stopping you? My room is dirty. Girl, I don't care. Oh, well, let's go. Her room. This is my room. Uh, do you have a trash can? You can throw it anywhere. Oh, great heavens! Um, I gotta head home. My pet fit is down. Buddy, you are so trash at this game. Whatever. I'm gonna go to your house and get with your sister. No, you're not. I don't believe you. Oh, so you're doubting me now? Be careful what you wish for. Whatever, loser. Okay, watch me. Later that night. I told you not to doubt me. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. You mean the best time. Oh, but you're forgetting one big detail. What? I don't have a sister. Huh? Nice work, bro. Anytime, bro. Oh, great heavens! Hey, son, how was your day at school? Good. I just found out that I'm really fast in math. No way, really? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a math question. What's 276 divided by 4? 20. What? That's not even close. I only said I was fast. Oh, great heavens! I should have used protection. Hey, son, I got an email from your teacher, Ms. Bendover, saying that you got detention tomorrow? What happened? It's my teacher's fault! How come it's your teacher's fault? She told me to leave my problems outside. And what did you do? So I told her to stand outside. Oh, great heavens! I should have used protection. Oh, son, can you buy me a soft drink? Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Diet or regular? Regular. Bottle or can? Bottle. Eight ounce or a liter? Forget it, just go buy me a water. Natural or mineral? Mineral. Hot or cold? I swear, if you don't stop, I'm going to hit you with this hand. Left or right? Oh, I can't stand my son. Oldest or youngest? Stop it, you pest. I'm about to end my dad's whole career. Cockroach or you? <laughs> Yo, bro, how many times do you sleep with your girl? Um, shoot, you know, with kids, it'd be hard sometimes, but I'd say three times a week. <laughs> we make it work. Nice, bro. How about you? I'd say about two times a week. That's not bad. I thought since you don't have kids, it would be way more than that with your girl. Oh, me and my girl? Probably five to six times a week. I thought we were still talking about your girl. Emotional damage. And who died? My son. He crashed the car sneaking out to go to a party. Really? I guess you could say his final moments were lit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am really sorry though. I'm sure he was the life of the party. <laughs> Hey, did you hear about the couple that got lost in the woods camping and the girl went missing? Oh, really? Yeah, the news said the man woke up and his girl was gone and couldn't find her. Isn't that crazy? He did it. I'm in some abandoned house. Please find me. What? Hey, baby, I'm back from camping with the boys. Wait, who are you talking to?
You and Mom meet. Yeah, how did we meet? Um, let me think. Oh, um, I don't really remember. I think it was a dating app. Oh, cool.